Crane, you said we needed to talk about other options if we didn't find any Antizen. And we will, but right now let's deal with these explosives, okay? Okay, listen. I'll give the explosives to Saeed and you talk to Rahim. Make sure he stays away from that hive. Will do. Don't worry. Don't worry? Right. that somebody turned on the antenna towers. You need something? Come here. Of course. Special deal for you. Slow down, bro. Jade called me. She's taking the explosives to Saeed. She wanted me to talk to Rahim about the volatile hive and how she wants him to stay the hell away from it. Crane, Saeed told me about the explosives you guys found. How perfect is that? Jade gave them to him. Saeed used to be on a bomb squad, so he knows about that stuff. 
Yeah, kid. That was a lucky find. Would have been better to turn up some antis in, though. My buddy Omar is making sure Saeed's putting good timers on those things. We have to be able to get our asses out of there before they blow. Whoa, we? There, there's no we in this. I, I mean, yeah, that nest needs to go, and now it's possible, but... But if it gets done, I'm doing it on my own. But... It's my plan. And I will execute it perfectly, I promise. But... Ah, shit. There's no use arguing with you, is there? Fine. I'll contact you as soon as Saeed's finished with the charges. Raheem, do we have a deal? I guess. Do we have a deal? Yes. We have a deal. Okay, one more thing. I keep seeing this bizarre kind of infected. Is Dr. Zera out at his trailer? I'd like to talk to him about it. Nah, he's down in sick bay visiting Dr. Lina. Thanks, kid. I'll see you soon. Hey, Doc, you got a minute? Oh, it's, uh, Kane. Yes. Uh, how can I help you? A crane. Remember when I told you about that weird infected I saw? You know, the one who took one look at me and hauled ass away? Yeah, well, I just saw another one, and it did the same thing. Hmm. I believe I have heard your colleagues talk about those creatures. Bolters, they call them. Apparently, they favor certain areas of town over others, but only appear at night. I don't suppose you could catch one and bring me a sample of its flesh. You see, a thought occurred to me. A long shot, I realize. But if these creatures favor areas where I left my experimental bait, well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Please do obtain a sample, but it has to be fresh. So you have to get it back to me quickly. Okay, and where exactly do I find these things? I'm told that Quartermaster chap has been keeping track of them. Seems there's some survivors at the bazaar, and the witch is one of them. Guess if anyone's gonna bullshit their way to safety, it's gonna be Dahlia, right? <laughs> Did you say she's a witch? She says she's a witch. She claims the infected won't even touch her, because of her voodoo hocus-pocus. They say she walked clean across the city without getting touched, at night. Maybe she knows something we don't. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe she's just completely full of shit. I saw some people in this school. Got to wonder what they were doing there. Zera asked me to bring him a sample from that bolter I saw in front of the school. He said they'd been spotted in specific areas of the city, so I should focus my search in those places. He also said I needed to get that sample back to him while it was still fresh. So I gotta move. Rahim's electronic parts. <laughs> Don't expect the radios to work any better. The truth is, Rahim is trying to build a robot runner. He gets these crazy ideas in his head. What can I do for you? Doc Zera says you know where I should look for these, uh, bolters. 
Super fast infected, covered in big green blisters. Oh yeah, yeah. I can point you in the right direction. Here, here, and here. Though you ask me, if trouble don't come looking for you, no reason to go looking for trouble. <laughs> Words to live by, thanks. The scouts have seen people entering the school. Something's going on there. What's up, Spike? Just FYI, if you need me, I'll get the fire station up in Morgan, prep the barge. You know people... Somebody's in the school. Our scouts spotted people entering the building. sent for you days ago. Are you always so slow? Perhaps you are resistant to my summons. Good. The strong ones are more difficult, but always so much more worthwhile. You must be the witch. Such prideful contempt. But of course you do not believe in such things. Look, I'm here because I've been told that you... that you have an ability. You want to know how I walk among the Immortui without drawing their attack. Is that not so? Huh? Is it possible? For you? No. You are far too crude and ignorant to obtain such deep knowledge. But there is another way. Something I could make for you. It's fine, I'd be willing to trade. You are only here because I wish it. And it is my wish that you have this ability. You will need it to be of service to me. Tonight, you will go to the caves while the volatiles are out hunting. Collect as many black mushrooms as you can carry, and I will use them to prepare a tincture for you. That is all I require from you. For now. Oof. <laughs> 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 
Okay, Doc. Here comes your chunk of zombie guts. Come in, come in. Did you get the samples I asked for? Excellent, excellent. I was just telling Dr. Camden about... Hello, Mr. Crane. Glad to have you working with us. You uh, sound like an impressive individual. Interesting stuff what passes for blood in this creature. Photosensitive. Quite deadly if used on a weapon, I'd wager. But I digress. My last bit of reagent here and a reserve vial of, oh my word, this tissue, it's testing positive for the recombined virus. Camden, do you know what this means? The meat experiment worked. When I dose the meat samples with the altered strain, it's had an effect. This could explain all the different mutations. But I can't. Camden could. He has the equipment, but we have no way to get the research to him. Well, you can talk to him on the radio. Why not share the info that way? There's too much data, Crane. It would take years. We'd both be dead and gone before he finished. Water, water everywhere, and not a drop to drink. What if I delivered this stuff to you, Dr. Camden? By hand. The data and the tissue samples both. Crane, getting from there to here would be insanely dangerous. Yeah, but it could mean a cure, right? You don't know how much this means, dear boy. To me, to all of us. I'll contact you when everything's ready. You must go now. Much to do. Much to do. What? Fucking hell, Raheem, that was my job! Oh, right, because you're more qualified to handle explosives than I am. You're just a goddamn tourist! But listen, we messed up. Messed up bad. All right, what happened? Where are you? We're on the overpass, and it's all going to shit! Listen, head to the train yard, find a place to hide, I'm on my way! Oh, my. behind you! Behind you! Raheem! Raheem! Brecken. Brecken, do you copy? Yeah, I copy. What is it? I'm on my way to get Raheem. Raheem? He's here in the tower. No, he's... It's like, what? Fuck! Where'd they get the explosives? Well, I... Look, I stole them from Rise. Oh, Jesus, Christ. I'm 
close. I'll get him to safety, Brecken. You damn well better. You save him, you hear me? Me, you save him so I can kick his fucking ass. Does Jake know about this? No, she doesn't. For God's sake, don't tell her. She'll go out looking for him. And I don't need her getting herself killed too. God damn it! This tincture will give you some ability to be among the Immortui. It will not last long, and it may disturb your senses. Solutions of greater potency can be prepared, but they will require more powerful agents and greater risk. Now, you are ready to serve me. What do you want? From you? Why, nothing at all. I will never ask anything of you, Runner. You may go about your business and do exactly as you think you should. A man of free will. But the truth is that you will always be doing my bidding. Even now, you are under my complete control. I will summon you again when the time comes. Go now. Enjoy your illusion of freedom. This is Crane. Is that you, Tolga? Uh, he wants to talk to us. Well, I don't want to talk to him. I repeat, you are ordered to come immediately. Shut the door. Shut off the radio. Right. Avoid technical terms. Keep hey, boys, what are we into this time? Do you understand what a battery is? Tall guy, you're overwhelming him. <sighs> Inside the engine compartment of a bus is a heavy rectangle. I know what a battery is. <sighs> okay, we need bus batteries with marine grade plates and rated at 1300 CCA or better. CCA means cold cranking amps. Obviously. That's a pretty big battery. Yes, easily 50 to 55 kilograms each. That's equal to uh, several large rocks. He's American. The metric system makes him angry. We will need three of them. Oh, <laughs> you can use your brute strength. We know you primitives are keen to show how strong you are, to demonstrate physical prowess. You think it will attract females? Ugly and stupid, what else does he have? Oh, how does he live like that? Who knows? You have your instructions. Go do your uh, interpretation of them. I just want to talk. Try listening. The first bullet goes over your head. The next one goes through it. Stop it, Edward. You don't want to scare off someone who might be willing to help us. We don't know this arsehole from a plate of falafel. Don't argue with me. Let him in. Seems Errol wants to talk to you. There won't be any trouble. Do I look worried? Scared to death. He's perceptive. Come in, come in. 
I'm Errol. Kyle Crane. This is my niece, Salier, and her son, Aaron. Do forgive Edward, but he's completely right to be worried. We are being pursued by some very ruthless men. There's something oddly familiar about you. There should be. The campaign spent a lot of money putting my face all over town. Of course, you're Errol Asani, governor of the province. Governor of nothing, but Rise has decided that any political figure is a threat to him. So he's ordered my execution. They nearly killed me once already. That's how I lost my leg. And it seems they haven't given up. A squad of his thugs has tracked me to my last safe house in the slabs. Edward was just there. He says they're searching the area. It's only a matter of time before they show up here. Oh, sounds like you got quite a problem. I would pay you very well to resolve it. Hey, you know, people say that a lot to me. Trust me. What I can offer you can't be found anywhere else, at any price. And I'll think about it.
Kareem on the radio. Hamdi, answer me. What's going on out there? Ozan, where the hell are you? You better not be screwing around. Is that you, Ozan? <laughs> <laughs> 